Hello and welcome, it's Rob Hollier here from Crossme Mail Signature. In this demo, I'm going to show you how you can easily create a standardized, professionally branded email signature for your entire company within five minutes. First of all, let's see what Jimmy here currently has as an email signature. I will type an email to his colleague Alan. The organization currently has no automated signatures, so I'd better sign off as Jimmy and click send. As you can see, Alan has received an email from Jimmy. It has absolutely no brand image applied and Alan wouldn't even be able to phone Jimmy back as there are no contact details either. So let's fix this. I'm going to open the Crossway Mail Signature application and create a new email signature configuration from scratch. I will give the signature a relevant name and description. Then I'm going to change the selection group to default as this will apply the signature to everybody in the organisation. We can also see that this signature will be appended to all emails in the normal email signature position. And then all I have to do is actually create the signature design. In order to add personalised details, I am going to use our lookups feature using this button and insert a first name lookup. This will pull the appropriate information directly from the address book. Let's add in a space and then insert a last name lookup. These lookups can either be added in using the button as shown or typed in manually like I will do so for position. Now I want to design a nice left and right aligned part of my signature with logo and contact details. I'm going to create a table with one row, two columns and a fixed width. In this first column I will add a few contact details, once again using lookups. Perfect. Now let's pull the table width across a bit and add our logo. I have already uploaded the logo into the Crossway Mail Signature Image Library, so I can simply insert the image directly from this library. Then I will pull the table width across again to fit. Now I want to hide these table borders completely, so I will select the table and set borders to zero from within the table border properties. Your own signature might not require tables, but at least now you know that we fully support them. The last thing I want in my signature is a disclaimer. I have already got my disclaimer text ready to go, so I am going to simply copy and paste this text in. So there we have quite a nice signature, but let's make it even nicer by adding some font styling. I'm going to make any key elements bold, and then finally I will make the disclaimer text smaller as well as a slightly lighter grey colour. And there we go, a simple but professionally branded email signature. 
So let's save and validate this configuration. But before I push the signature out live, I want to test it out. So I'm going to send a test email. We can see the details of the signature that I am testing. And I'm going to test the rich text version of this signature based on the user Jimmy and send it to him as well. And here we are. This test email shows the signature exactly as a recipient would see it. And we can double check that the layout looks good and that all the lookups have been filled out with the correct personal details. We're good to go, so let's publish that signature. Now let's see what happens when Jimmy sends an email to Alan again. This time he knows that his signature is being handled automatically, so he is just going to sign off with regards and click send. Alan has once again received an email, but this time it has a professional signature as well as all of Jimmy's contact details and overall looks really great. So there you have it, a real world situation where I have easily created a signature for my entire organisation and for all emails from any computer, webmail or mobile device that they may be sent from, all within 5 minutes and thanks to Crossware Mail Signature. If you would like to learn more or download our free, fully functional 30-day trial, please visit www.crossware.co.nz. Thank you for watching.